On average, seven Singaporeans die every day from smoking, and Singapore's smoking prevalence rose from 12.6% in 2004 to 14.3% in 2010. And so the issue of smoking and the effectiveness of health warnings uh, was raised by two MPs about a week ago in Parliament. The first one was to what extent health warnings and pictures on cigarette packs like those are effective deterrents to smokers. And the second, if point-of-sale display of tobacco products should be better. And so I have in studio Dr. Janelle Puticherry, MP for Pasiris Pungal GRC, to discuss the trend. So Janelle, thanks for coming today. You raised the issue in Parliament. Uh, what concerns you the most, that smoking rates are, are rising or about the health and mortality rates? All of it concerns me. I mean, smoking is a very dangerous thing for the people who smoke, dangerous for the people around them. And if the rates are rising, then it's going to have an uh, increasing effect on our health care burden. So it's all concerning to me. Okay, so you raised the issue of uh, graphic health warnings on cigarette packs and whether they're effective in deterring smokers from uh, uh, picking it up. But how do we counter the problem of uh, desensitization? I mean, the more you look at it, uh, the more you know you don't really feel like it's ha it has any impact. Exactly, and, and that's one of the reasons why I brought up the uh, subject, that we need to look at all of our measures to see how effective they are. And how we deal with smoking, um, it's not going to be a static picture. It needs to be something that we change every couple of years as we change our social norms, as the idea of smoking becomes either more normal or less normal, I'm hoping less normal. So it's something that we need to keep uh, pushing at, to try to look at how effective are all the measures that we choose to follow in order to get the outcome we want. So the last study that the health ministry did was back in 2005. That was quite a while back. It showed that about 7 in 10 smokers uh, knew more about the health effects of smoking and it said 50% of smokers were more concerned about their health after seeing those graphic health warnings. But uh, would you say it's time for a new study and perhaps a new perspective? Absolutely. I mean, if you say 7 in 10, some people would say the glass is half full. But I'm saying that's 30% of Singaporean smokers who don't understand the health effects and how bad things are. So we have to drive that as low as possible and keep pushing. Okay, so we collect close to about $1 billion uh, in tobacco duty every year. Uh, how much of this is being channeled into tobacco control? In, is enough of it being done? Well, I don't have the number. I'm hoping as much of it as possible should go into tobacco control. But the tobacco control is not just about education and, uh, and these graphic images, for example, and the packaging. That $1 billion uh, represents tax revenue. And increasing the tax is also a, a good way to reduce the smoking burden in a society. So that's also another avenue that we can pursue. Interesting. So um, would you say that overall existing controls are working? Because numbers also show that more and more younger Singaporeans are picking up the habit. Well, on the whole, we have one of the lowest smoking rates in the world. Okay. But you're absolutely right. In the young sector, the young segment of the population, if the rates are rising, how much longer are we going to have that very low overall rate? And I'm worried for the future. And what about point of sale uh, display bans? You know, has that proven to work in other countries? Absolutely. I mean, that's one of the reasons why it's something that we want to have introduced in Singapore. That the less that you make uh, cigarettes normally available or easily available, the less you normalize it, then the less available they are, the less youngsters are going to go and buy it. And removing them from point of sale displays is one of the proven methods to do that. Okay. And earlier this year, Australia implemented plain packaging. Uh, would that work in Singapore? I'm sure it would. The question is whether we can get it done. Uh, there was a lot of resistance and a lot of pushback, both from the industry as well as smokers in Australia when they tried to do this. But they've been able to do it. Um, I'm sure it would help, and let's see the effects in Australia. But it's something that I'll be asking for, I'm sure, in the future. OK, let's uh, have a look at some comments and suggestions from our Facebook viewers. We asked them about the issue. This one from Charles says that uh, any smoker will tell you that you know methods like pictures and no point of sales displays are not going to discourage any smoker yeah. from smoking. What do you have to say well, about that? Well, there's two things we need to talk about. One is not just discouraging the existing smokers from smoking, but people who aren't smoking from taking it up. Okay. So there are two different tracks that we need to follow. How do we deal with people who haven't started smoking and prevent them from smoking? And how do we deal with smokers that are already addicted? And so you're right. What works for one group isn't going to work for the other group. And we well understand this. Okay. Another one is uh, uh, registering smokers. This person says, why not register people so authorities can monitor the age of the consumer, uh, how many packs he or she buys? Do you think this might work? Well, I mean, anything that makes it more difficult to get cigarettes and use cigarettes is going to work. It's going to make it less normal to smoke. But the question is whether we can legally require registration for something that you can purchase over the counter. And that would require a change in the law. Uh, if we're going to go down that route, there are many other things that we can consider in terms of legislation. But 
again, a good idea, and it understands what we're trying to achieve. Interesting. Thank you very much for coming in today. It's great speaking to you. And that was MP Dr. Janelle Puducherry on uh, trying to encourage smokers to quit and, of course, discourage others who don't from picking up the habit. Uh